I think we're getting the A Shard of Ice storyline in season two of Netflix is The Witcher, and my heart's not going to be able to take it. Poor Geralt. Okay, morning. There are spoilers for season two of Netflix's The Witcher in this video. I'm going to be talking about leaks um, and showing some leaked photos from the actual filming of season two. So if you don't want that sort of stuff, um, click away now. Go on, get. Okay, so recent leaks, thanks to the Daily Mail, I don't say that very often. We now have some evidence that they may be filming the short story in the second prequel book, The Sword of Destiny. And if you haven't read the books or it's been a while, here's just a quick recap. In the short story, Yennefer and Geralt are together, but she's also sleeping with Istrid. Yeah, this guy. Geralt is jealous. Istrid wants to marry Yennefer, but Geralt thinks Yennefer and him are meant to be, so the two idiots decide to duel, but Yennefer ends up just GTFOing after rejecting them both. Oh, and Istrid wants Geralt to kill him because of Yennefer's rejection. It's actually kind of fucked. They're all idiots in the story, though, so don't feel bad for one person in particular. So we are going to get that love triangle in season two, it appears, because there were some leaked photos of Geralt's actor Henry and Istrid's character um, Roy Pierce. Is that right? Or am I just thinking because it's Pierce because of his piercing eyes? Hold on, let me check real quick. Roy's Pearson. Okay, there we go. Anyways, those two actors are filming some scenes together. But on top of that, Geralt and Yennefer also have some scenes in season two, and they were filming some scenes together at the same time. Obviously, the actors for Yennefer and Geralt, I understand they're actors playing characters. But sometimes I just go, oh yeah, Yennefer and Geralt are in a scene together. Don't you sass me. Ooh, and before I go on really quick, Geralt's outfit, all the outfits for season two, I bitch so hard about the season one outfits for Netflix's The Witcher. I mean, not as much as people bitch about the Nilfgaardian armor. That was a whole thing. But so far, everything I've seen for season two of Netflix's The Witcher, so yeah, I really like Geralt's outfit here. Obviously, him and Yennefer are hanging out, doing some stuff. Um, if he's fighting the particular monster he fights in the Shard of Ice, I maybe want a, a change of outfit, but I like it. I'm kind of wondering if they're going to make Yennefer more likable in this situation. Again, all of them are at fault, but Yennefer kind of is playing with two men's hearts. But on the other hand, if Geralt would have just said, hey, I love you, she would have picked him. So, you know, maybe the person here that we should feel bad for is Istrid. I kind of feel like we should. And unlike in the show where we definitely see Yennefer and Istrid's relationship and we see when and how they came together and that Yennefer even tried to get back together with him and he was like... Nah, bitch, you gotta go. So they spent a lot of time building up that relationship in the show, but in the, the books, it's not built up in the same way. So I think they're doing that maybe to make the situation make a bit more sense and for us maybe not to look as harshly at Yennefer in this situation, you know? By the way, if you're not a book reader and you are already sick of this Yennefer and Geralt getting together, then something happening and them being pulled apart, it's like the entirety of their relationship, so sorry. You're gonna have to get used to it. And going back to the Yennefer bashing, I think it is really important to know that without them softening the story, like I feel like they've laid the groundwork for in season one, um, Yennefer comes across in a really bad way for a lot of people and they don't seem to uh, see where she is a sympathetic character in this story. I realize she's screwing two dudes. I realize she just GTFOs on both of them when these two men are ready to duel over her, but she also just wanted Geralt to be like, hey, I love you. And Geralt couldn't do it because he's just, you know, an emo. I am going to speculate wildly now at this part, there's no, real leaks to back up this theory, but this is just where I'm kind of going with this. 
I kind of wonder, since we have all that evidence that Siri and Geralt are going to Carmorhen, his old witcher school, he's going to train her along with his witcher buddies for a while, and then he ends up doing the wagon storyline, supposedly with Triss is what it's looking like, uh, just like in the books, and then he's gonna drop Siri off, and I'm wondering if he drops her off and separates from her. Because we know from earlier leaks that Frangella and Yennefer were taken by the elves after the whole battle with the Nilfgaardians and the fallout from that. So I wonder if Geralt hears, oh shit, Yennefer is with the elves, I need to go rescue her, and that's why he leaves, and that's how they reunite, and then maybe the whole thing with Istrid happens. Or maybe Geralt goes to rescue her, but she's already been rescued, because we see in other leaks that um, Yennefer is no longer confined and doing other things, so I don't know. Maybe Geralt rescues Yennefer to bring her to Ciri to further train her. Maybe it's just twisted a little bit different than what we see in the books, you know? So that's kind of my speculation. It could be completely wrong. I mean, they could go about this uh, many different ways. I know Lauren said that the uh, Lauren Hisrick, the showrunner for Netflix, is The Witcher. I know she said it's going to be a lot more linear this time for this season because people didn't like the jumping around. But that doesn't mean they can't do flashbacks and stuff. So that's why I don't think this is a, uh, a flashback. Because even though they could do one or two, it's not the same as a bad how bad they were jumping around in the first season. I just, I think they're not going to do as many flashbacks and stuff. So I think this actually takes place, even though in the book, Sword of Destiny, it's a, a prequel to the main Witcher saga. I think this is going to be treated like it's part of the main Witcher saga and take place during the time of Geralt and Ciri have already met. So I don't know. Like, subscribe, come back for more spoilers, come back for me talking more about The Witcher. I'm absolutely obsessed with The Witcher, so I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm going to try to start uh, streaming on Twitch, playing The Witcher games, because I've never played through them. I'm just obsessed with the books. Like, super obsessed. Well, I've played a little bit of The Witcher. I just never played through all the games. Anyways, like, subscribe, come back for more videos. Sorry, I'm a little ranty. Mm -hmm.